and welcome to my presentation. My name is Sarah Henderson. This is for course PM692 and we will be discussing conflict resolution. So let's start out with what is conflict resolution. Um, conflict resolution is the process of ending a dispute and reaching an agreement that satisfies all parties involved. I think it's important to note that conflict is inevitable in almost any situation. Um, you have differing team members with differing opinions and it's just going to come up. Um, different personalities can conflict. So first, I think it's important to know your team. Know who you're working with, what their listening styles are, what their learning styles are, and what their thinking process is. Number two, you need to actively listen to all sides of the conflict. And I mean actively listen. So you're listening, you're you know, letting them know that you're listening, maybe take notes if you need to review afterwards, and then create an open discussion. So you need to know, one, that you heard them, and two, that you're going to do in your power what you can to, to resolve the conflict. And then include each individual in developing a plan to resolve the conflict in the future. When we are dealing with difficult people in considering conflict, particularly, um, I think it's important to prepare your mindset. Um, when you're dealing with difficult people, I think sometimes we as the resolvers can get frustrated as well, and that makes it difficult to resolve. So be open-minded and understanding of you know what they're saying and what they're going through. Listening to their concerns, utilizing active listening, like we discussed before, um, really educating yourself on what they need and then also what you can do about what they need, what you can provide for them. Um, don't make empty promises. Don't promise them that you can do something that you then find out you can't do because that will lead to further conflict. Creating a plan together. So including them in the process of creating that plan on how to, how to resolve that conflict. And then um, individuals that you're really unable to reach a compromise on, just sitting down with them and focusing on what you can do and what you are doing to resolve the conflict. And sometimes, you know, even just telling them, look, this is what I am doing, makes them realize that maybe the, the conflict wasn't as big of a deal as they thought. My key takeaways for this presentation, number one, communication. Communicate, communicate, communicate with your team, with um, the parties that are in conflict to just make it a well-rounded, everyone feels heard. Um, and then active listening, like we discussed. And then just a little note to remember, as a project manager, our duty is not to avoid conflict, but to embrace it and, and try to provide resolution for it. I personally feel that conflict creates, you know, usually productive solutions. You have differing opinions and voices, which can lead to a productive product project. These are my references. Thank you for listening and have a good rest of your day.